Where should we start it? Um, shake the box. Shake the box. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, th this isn't on the floor, is it? My name's Lou Bellamy. I'm artistic director and founder of Penumbra Theater. Well, yeah, we're just going to do it from where Dennis starts. We, we began Penumbra in uh, 1976. Um, I was hired by Halle Q. Brown Community Center, who administers this building that we're in. They had gotten a CETA grant, and uh, I think it was for $150,000 and they hired me to implement the grant. With that $150,000, I hired 20 actors, four or five technicians. There were about 25 people hired on it, and uh, we began doing plays. It would be fun if you could hire a whole company for $150,000 today, but uh, that isn't the case. <laughs> The number is the largest and most esteemed African-American theater company in the country. I've just been um, an admirer of what he has accomplished in a very small space, very much rooted in the community. Uh, That's it. You all are having more fun than you could ever have. Yeah. Uh, he has a vision as a director. Uh, and he's honed his craft uh, so well that he's able to call out in people really, really strong performances. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be right back. Director has to, it's like a jeweler. You have to set a stone and set it in the right way so that, that when the light catches it, um, it, you know, it's pretty striking. You got props, you got your, your uh, yeah. coat and everything? Yeah, you got the coat okay. ready. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. Lou's uh, direction okay. often has that. What he does is that he that is loads thing. his plays well, and his cool. productions with um, things the from the culture America, that are really, really small, but Maybe add up, they accrete uh, oh, into something the really the profound. Penumbra is primarily known for having a loving yet critical voice that happens inside of the community. Out of this, this room, this 260 seat house, I mean, there have been Pulitzer Prizes generated here, all sorts of awards, Obies, you name it. I mean, people, our alumni are changing the world of theater in the United States and abroad. So this little room reaches farther than one might expect. Penumbra Theater is celebrating its 35th anniversary having produced work in this particular room for 35 years. Um, I think that's a, a, a good thing for this community. Um, stability, something to be proud of, um, is important. I grew up in this area where everything good that bubbles up from it is somehow skimmed off and taken away. So I'm proud that that Penumbra has grown up here, had its national and international reach from this place, and is still accessible to the people about whom we create the art and who it's for. Um, that's important to me. Coming from an acting experience to a directing experience, I understand what makes actors move. I know the signs when the back of their legs are starting to hurt and they're, they're losing concentration because they're getting tired. I know how to um, introduce new material to them and schedule time in a rehearsal process so that they have time to make that theirs before I pile on more. 
The company directs, uses ensemble productions, that is, the members of the acting company in a show at Penumbra work together like a band, all gigging together and all of them taking turns to solo, and but working harmoniously to create something that's much bigger than the sum of their individual parts. Because we're doing ensemble work, that demands a different kind of participation between actor and director. There's a more egalitarian mix there. You know, when you're sitting at the piano and you tell him to call and oh, see oh, yeah, if he's yeah. down there, I'd turn up there yeah. sooner yeah, okay. so you can get ready. Okay. When you're doing work in a room that is as small as ours, any sort of artifice is immediately detectable by an audience. Any sort of untruth, they see through it. I mean, you're trained as a person, as an individual, to tell when someone's lying, to look for shifty eyes and all that sort of stuff. So this room demands a kind of truth that many acting areas do not. For me, in the kind of work I'm trying to do, everyone is important. The community is important. The audience is important. They all put that together themselves on stage. Acting is unique in that it is difficult to take something on stage. You really can't take focus. I mean, you could, you could turn around when everyone else is facing downstage, you could scratch your butt, or you could do something so out of the ordinary that you get focus. But that's a difficult thing to do. When you get focus, when you're treated with a kind of authority on stage, it's because other actors have allowed you to do that. They've played a subordinate role so that you can play a superior role. In a 260 seat house, you don't have stars. What we do have though is a group of people who care so much about this community, that experience, that they're willing to do whatever it takes to bring that truth to the stage. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.